Obtain the general solution to the equation x times dy dx plus 2y equals x to the power of negative 3. To solve this by the linear approach, which is what we will be doing in this video, we have to isolate dy dx. So by doing that, we have to divide everything by x. And since we already have the y term on the left side, everything is organized as it should be, that leaves us with dy dx plus 2 over x times y all we're doing is divide by x here, equals x to the negative fourth. Since if you bring the x to the one power from the denominator to the numerator, that would become x to the negative third minus one, which becomes x to the negative fourth. So all we need now is our integrating factor, which we will obtain by taking p of x, which is the coefficient of the y variable, and integrating that. So let's take p of x equals two over x, and the integral of p over x dx equals 2, we are bringing the 2 out, times the integral of 1 over x dx. And that essentially becomes 2 times ln absolute value of x, since the integral of 1 over x is ln x. And we'll leave it like that. We will add the plus c at the end. And to find the integrating factor i of x, or mu of x, that equals e to the integral of p of x dx. And since we already have p of x dx, let's just plug that in. That becomes e to the power of 2 ln absolute value of x. And to simplify this e to the power of ln, we're going to have to move the 2 on the inside as the exponent using logarithmic rules. So rearranging that, that becomes e to the ln absolute value x squared. Now that we have e and ln next to each other, those cancel. So the integrating factor i of x becomes x squared, that's all. So, now we're gonna take this integrating factor and multiply it by everything in this equation here. So that becomes x squared times dy dx plus two over x times y times x squared becomes two x times y, since the x cancels on the bottom and there's one remaining, times y equals x to the negative second. 2 take away from negative 4 you get x to the negative second so using this we're going to use the product rule in which dy dx of the integrating factor x squared times y is the general form for this equals whatever's on the right side x to the negative second so you can check if this is the correct product rule by looking at what we have over here so the derivative of x is 2x you multiply that by y then you add it x squared times dy dx, the derivative of y with respect to x, and that is correct. So now to isolate for y, which is on the inside here, let's take the integral of this entire term, which will cancel the dy dx, and take the integral on the right-hand side, since you have to do whatever on the left-hand side to the right-hand side of x to the negative second, both terms with respect to x. This becomes x squared times y, the derivative cancels, equals well, the integral of x to the negative second is equal to x to the negative one. You're bringing the numerator up by plus one, and you put it as also the denominator, negative one, plus c. So now all we have to do is isolate for y. And now we can also put in our plus c since we're almost done forming the entire equation. That becomes, uh, let's divide everything by x squared. That becomes y equals negative. I'm bringing out the negative one in the front. X to the negative one divided by x to the second becomes minus x to the minus third plus c x to the minus second, which is also equivalent to c over x squared. You can write it whichever way you want. This is the nicest, you know, numerically to look at. And that turns out to be our answer for this differential equation. Y equals negative x to the power of negative three plus cx to the power of negative two. And remember, the c does not absorb the x since x is not a constant. And if you have any questions, please leave in the comments below and good luck.